the goddess Athena sits women. Each thread on her loom is a single human life. As the threads are woven together, they create a tapestry, a picture of human society in which each life touches every other. From the fates of Greek mythology and the Norse goddess Frey to China's celestial mother, our ancestors always worship women who weave. It reminds us today how the technologies of fashion and clothing, spinning and weaving, cutting and sewing played a huge part in the creation of human society. The first stage of fashion was hard work, making even a yard of fabric on the spinning wheel and the hand loom could take hundreds of hours. Women who wore created the blankets that warmed us, the bags that gathered food, the nets we fished with, and the clothes we wore. The work was tough and tedious, but it knitted together human society. All of this changed in the late 18th century, with the introduction of the first mechanized loom. Women became the first industry to be transformed by the Industrial Revolution, and the second age of fashion began. Handcrafts were replaced with factories and production lines. In the second age of fashion, clothes are cheap, but at a cost. Today, millions of women are trapped in low-paid labor in the fashion industry. The creativity of women is wasted on mass-producing clothes. The women themselves paid only a fraction of the price of sale by Western brand names. Their children and families live in poverty. The myths of goddess weavers have been forgotten. Women who weave are no longer worshipped. Instead of knitting our society together, the modern fashion industry and the second age of fashion is a force that unravels our communities and tears apart the fabric of society. The machine loom and other technologies ended the first age of fashion and the second age of fashion began. Today, we are on the brink of new age of in fashion, a third age created by a new technology the technology of 3D printing. My name is Julia Davy, and I am a designer and producer of 3D printed clothes. I believe that the 3D printing of clothing represents more than a new innovation in fashion. 3D printing technologies will create an entirely new age for the fashion industry. The third age of fashion will once again liberate the creativity of women. My fascination with 3D printing began in early 2016. At that time, I was increasingly concerned with the ethical and environmental impact of fashion on our world. Issues of chemical pollution, energy consumption, material waste, and the exploitation of animals are a huge problem for the fashion industry. In 3D printing, I saw a solution to these problems. By 2016, I already had a decade of experience in clean technology, innovating new solutions to environmental problems caused by industry. I am the co-founder of the Green Economy Institute in Eastern Europe and a board member of some other environmentally conscious organizations. As far back as 2009, I began research into smart clothing to meet problems of fast approaching climate change, including resistance to high temperatures and other severe weather conditions. At that time, the technologies to make my ideas reality didn't exist, so I was amazed when in 2016 I found 3D printing close to providing solutions. In the last two and a half years, I have undertaken a course of high-speed development in 3D printing. My studies include work under the best teachers at the University of Illinois, 
and exploring the implications of 3D printing to the product design cycle with courses offered by IDEO and University of Virginia Darden School of Business. My innovations in 3D printing are opening new doors every day. Now my research is providing answers to some of fashion's hardest problems. The filaments used in 3D printing aren't quite ready to replace soft fabrics yet. But this is coming soon. Right now there is one fashion material that filament cannot just replace but improve upon – leather. Every year millions of animals are killed for their skins. The suffering inflicted by industrial farming techniques for the production of leather is impossible to avoid. My first mission with 3D printing has been to create a replacement for leather. My upcoming collection includes one of the most popular items of leather clothing, a biker jacket, made from a 3D printed material that is not just as good as, but in many characteristics far exceeds animal sourced leather. The 3D printing allows the fine regulation of thickness, shape, pattern and color. I have mastered these techniques in the production of a Gucci-inspired 3D printed suit and bespoke skirts and dresses combining different filaments for printing. These are techniques that even the greatest craftsmen could never match in leather. The 3D printing process had the potential to be less energy-intensive and wasteful than existing clothing manufacture techniques. About one-third of all the fabric we make is thrown away. The cutting process wastes huge amounts of material, as patterns are laid out and waste material discarded. It's simply an unavoidable part of making clothes from fabric. I don't make fabric. The 3D printing process eliminates most cutting and most waste from the clothes making process by eliminating fabric itself. Individual parts or whole items of clothes are printed directly. New materials for 3D printing are emerging all the time. Today I use TPU filament combined with FDM technology. To achieve results suitable for fashion designs, I have re-engineered even the most advanced 3D printer technology to far beyond the capacities known by their makers. 3D printing is the start of an inevitable process of change that will redefine fashion even more radically than the mechanized law. First, clothes production becomes automated finally liberating millions of women from non-creative, low-paid work. Second, the pattern becomes the central commodity of fashion with a huge potential market for digital 3D printable patterns. Third, the existing logistics of fashion are entirely disrupted and end to the huge environmental impact of international clothes shipping. Fourth, the consumer becomes the creator, designing their own clothes without limitations. Fifth, millions of women are liberated from tedious clothes manufacture to explore again their own creativity. I envision a near future where local communities all around the world are enriched by 3D printed fashion where women can leave the factories and sweet shops and work with affordable 3D printing equipment to create unique fashions for the people of their villages, towns and neighborhoods. A future in which the women who make our clothing are no longer exploited, but are once again respected, honored and loved. The myth of the women goddess of Athena, the Fates, and the Celestial Mother reminds us that women once wove our society together. Today, we are at the start of a revolution in fashion, 
a 3D printing transformed the industry in the same way digital technologies have transformed and disrupted many other industries. This revolution will re-empower women around the world and begin to repair the torn fabric of our society.